Well, hi. This is sort of a fast action movie. Um, what I'm doing here is uh, transferring my engine. It's taken actually a, a week or two, so uh, I apologize for the change of clothes each time, but uh, it's uh, taken just a little while to get it all organized and get it done. So here's me uh, organizing the engine lifter uh, off the back of my utility and uh, organizing to have it uh, put on the back and uh, driven to the shed. That's the men's shed and I'll sh you'll see that shortly. Uh, quite an interesting place. We have an organization in Australia called the Men's Shed Association and um, that's where uh, a lot of um, retired fellows go just to fellowship and uh, get together and uh, have a good time in a sense uh, but we do make things we repair things we uh, we do a lot of community activities there as well so you'll see that shortly uh, I think I'm looking for my slings here and of course you know uh, okay there it is uh, it might have taken a little while to find those um, I've had to make special little um, brackets you might see those little stainless steel um, uh, hooks that I've made and uh, it was all good fun. Uh, trying to do this on your own isn't easy. Uh, there's a very slight slope that I've got there and I've had to keep that block of wood behind the wheels to stop it rolling back. Okay, I'm about to hit an issue where I just don't have the reach to uh, get it onto the back. So we'll have a little think about it, a thumbs down on it, and um, see what we can do about it. So, plan B is um, extend the uh, lifter arm as much as possible so that the wheels don't have to go in as far on the, on the underside of the car. Uh, luckily, uh, we've got at, at the men's shed. We've got two uh, engine lifters, so this one I could return sort of the following day, and uh, the other one you'll see shortly at the shed. <clears throat> okay, all good. Happy with how that's sitting at the back, and so the next thing is to uh, sling it all down. The trip to where this is going is uh, only about 15 minutes away so um, and we don't want it to fall over or anything like that. This is uh, coming up now to the, um, the actual shed location and uh, there's a bunch of guys or retirees of course and um, you'll get to see them as we uh, drop off. This is a few days later again and uh, again a different uniform.
might recognize this chap, uh, his name's Ken. He actually helped me with the, uh, the spray job on the chassis. And uh, we're about to see a bunch of guys just coming around to help. And uh, really great organization. I like the people there. Uh, they're all interested and they're all keen to help. A lot of them, you know, uh, might be accountants, people that have not had the opportunity to work with their hands. Today's exercise is going to be um, fitting this engine. Uh, the plan is to run it, calibrate it, tune it, and do all the things that are necessary on this uh, stand here. So you might see here that I've already cut the radiator off because it won't fit. And so this stand here, we've already done a heap of modifications on it with uh, these little fellows here, these arms. So the plan is to uh, fit the engine to that today and uh, re-weld the um, radiator frame back onto the um, stand. And, uh, and then to finally set up for um, running, running the engine. So that's about it. Uh, we'll be taking the pressure plate off and to do this, so uh, it's not talked in or anything yet, so that'll be uh, coming off. And uh, this will take some time still to, um, to have in running condition. The uh, fellow in the yellow shirt has also got a, an Austin Healy BN1, um, that's Alex. And um, he's uh, an accountant, keen to, you know, learn things mechanical. And he's actually been a great help because um, he allows me to go over and take pictures of his being one so that I can uh, try and remain on the right track. Turn the sound off on, on this part because the background noise is just so so awful. Um, even though I, I seem to have a lot to say there, but uh, I thought it was best to do it perhaps this way. The engine's sitting quite high, but again, some people might like that, some not. Um, it's just the way the engine stand came. It came from an engineering college. Uh, they didn't want it and gave it to us. And it was about to be thrown out, and I said, no, I'll take it and uh, borrow it for a while uh, so that I can uh, tune my engine up, have it as a running concern, and uh, iron out all the bugs that I might have. For instance, the, the Jenny, uh, whilst that's been fully overhauled, I don't know that it's running correctly. The starter motor, I don't know if that's, um, that's been fully overhauled. I don't know if that's running correctly under load. Um, so there's a bunch of things that uh, need um, adjusting, repairing, and I just didn't want to do that whilst it was still or whilst it was in the car itself, um, for fear that I might have to pull it out and, uh, you know, fix whatever necessary and then put it back in. Okay, we've just bolted the back end down. Uh, we seem happy. Chaps are coming over to have a little look and, a, and to say hello.
right, here we've uh, lifting up and just telling Alex to get out of the way. <laughs> and uh, so just saying, look, this is about where I wanted to sit. Can somebody come up and measure? So uh, the chap below there is Neil, and uh, he's offered to uh, give me a couple of quick measurements uh, so we can cut some tube and uh, be adjust. And so this is what we've come up with now, what you see. is a little new to, to welding so uh, he, he, um, I'm sort of trying to help him get him to do as much welding as I possibly can so um, he's keen and he's coming along really well he's quite um, quite good actually I can't slow him down and, and it's really great he's saying here my old knees are just not what they were so oh there's a little stool for him so that um, he can do his thing there we made some further adjustment had to pull the radiator back a bit further because it looked like the hoses might interfere with the fan um, so we've just made a little hop on the radiator frame No, I'm driving the camera at the moment. That's about it actually, um, there's not much more to show other than uh, it's uh, arranged to be on the stand and get the radiator back in some sort of position near the fan, in front of the fan and, uh, and then that's it. <laughs>